everyone, my name is Brad Larson, real estate broker and founder of RentWorks San Antonio Property Management here in San Antonio, Texas. In this video, I wanna talk specifically to the tenants and the owners, you're welcome to watch this as well. This is for all the tenants who may want to or need to get out of their lease agreement early. There are several right ways to do this, to comply with the lease agreement and to end on good terms. The first one is if you're military and if you get PCS orders to vacate, to move to a different uh, move to a different station via PCS. That's all day long. Get us orders, get us a 30 day notice within the last day of that calendar month. And then you can vacate the home once that, that notice has been given. So this happens all the time. This is a federal law. It's been in the books for 25 years. So there's no real, real reason to uh, doubt that we would ever not honor that. I'm prior military myself. So we often, uh, show tenants how to basically break the lease agreement in that manner because you may get PCS orders out of nowhere and have to go to a next duty station. The other way to do this is voluntary uh, early termination. There's a couple ways you can do this. One, real easy, you can pay us the fee, we'll market your home. Once we find a replacement tenant, we'll go ahead and allow you to break the lease agreement. But you still pay for the lease agreement, you pay for the upkeep, you pay for the utilities, until we find a replacement tenant. There is some risk in that because you don't know how long that could take. That could take two minutes or two weeks or two months. I mean, in the meantime, you're paying the rent and all the upkeep to maintain that home. That's the risky part in that particular program. And that's fairly common across the board. Most companies are doing something like that. It's the early termination clause. We also have a third option to where it's a buyout clause. So if you read your lease agreement and you look at what we offer, you can offer us a two month payment and a 60 day buyout to where it's finite. It's going to end at a certain time. And that's a real good option if you're getting a relocation package. A lot of companies give you money to relocate all of a sudden, but hey, I'm in a lease agreement, what do I do? They say, all right, here's a, here's a chunk of money, go ahead and relocate, and then you pay for all the costs. And that's a good way to do that. So you can have a finite end date. It's all gonna be in your lease agreement spelled out correctly. I just want to give you a quick little video on the right ways to break a lease agreement. The wrong ways are vacating. Oh, and by the way, the last 30 days is not covered by your security deposit. This is not another state where you pay your first and your last month's rent. You pay your first month's rent and a security deposit. So you're obligated to pay your last month's rent. That's in our lease agreement. That's standard in the state of Texas. Should you have any further questions, reach out to us at 210-497-8686. Again, my name is Brad Larson, the owner and broker. Thanks for watching.